Thanks, Jana. I'd like to welcome back to the show Noreen Young. And today we are celebrating Earth Month. And I love every time that you're on because we learn about the beauty industry and how to take care of ourselves. The theme, obviously, Earth Month, but we're also going to be saving a little bit of money too with this, right? right. So today I have a few ideas that will really save money and make sense. And you're recycling, repurpose, reusing, okay? So your hair gels, your toothpaste, your moisturizer, your scrub for the face, any of these things can be saved and good to the last drop. So if you want to get the last drop out of a, a bottle, you simply turn it upside down. And then all the liquid goes to that section. If you want to make these things last longer and you want to get everything out of there, you cut this little mother and there we go. <laughs> and look at how much is still in there. Yeah. Okay. And then you scoop it out and use it on your complexion or use it on your hair or use it on your teeth instead of wasting the product. There's like, I'm not kidding you, a week and a half at there least really in there. There really is and there's no way it's going to come out because it's kind of on the outside. Exactly. Yeah. So it won't come out of that little hole. So that makes a difference. Also, if life gives you cracked blushers or cracked eyeshadows, you simply buy containers like I have here and you place the little eyeshadows or blushers in a container. So here's one that I did of that blush that cracked. And sometimes they crack in your cosmetic case, sometimes they crack from travel. And guys use bronzer too, by the way, so this can happen to you too. So it does make a difference when you have things like this and then this is like a month's worth sure. at least. So you don't want to throw these things and out. When it comes to makeup, some of the price points get kind of expensive, so you really are saving money. The other thing I was going to say too, a lot of times you're using a brush anyway, so it they doesn't are. matter that it's perfectly flat. It's so true. Yeah. And when you're trying to get the last drop of a cream, I love to use baby spatulas like this. And guess where these came from? I have several of them. They came from the gelato store where oh. I sampled, <laughs> okay? And you can reuse and repurpose and enjoy. This is a loose powder that formed here because it crushed and fell on the floor on my marble tile and I simply put it in a container like that with a little sifter. Then let's get eco-friendly. Open this little egg up. Get the kids eggs or run to the store and get yourself an eggs like this that are discounted 50% and 75 now and put the makeup sponges in there when you travel. This is a makeup artist secret. This is also great for your wife, you know, yeah. to use. And instead of buying one of those expensive holders, you got this. And it keeps it clean too. And that's exactly. really important because you're putting it on your face. And you never put it back in there dirty. You put it in there clean and nice and fresh. Then if you hate the mascara that you're using, actually the brush, okay, but you love another brush, take that brush from another mascara that you finished up, wash that sucker, and it could be for a brow gel might, that you might use or whatever, and uh, what it will happen is it's going to disinfect it, it's gonna clean it, get you pumped for that, and you could separate the lashes, uncrinkle them if they're too stiff, put too much mascara on, and you can enjoy a brush like that. So you don't always have to use the brush that's in the... That the, makes a lot of sense, and that one's gonna be coated with Mascara. Correct. So you're saying clean off one to an old exactly. one and now you have a nice little brush. Exactly. Yeah. And it makes a difference and you could also use it on the brows. Then, suppose you're using a jade roller and that roller or rose quartz or whatever falls on the floor in the beautiful tile or the <laughs> airline smashes it. Throw out the rest of the broken pieces, shave this down with a nail file and start rolling. Right. It so still you works. can still yeah. use it and it works. It makes such beautiful sense. Probably good to travel with then at that point because it's so small. Yes. As well. yeah. Then, if you want to use your eyeliner to its absolute best, instead of just using it and like using it and using it and you want it to last longer, freeze it. So the girls need to freeze it. What's going to happen is that little lead, uh, or not necessarily lead, but that little gel liner is going to harden up. Same thing for the lips, and it will make that last longer. Wow. And if you want your lipstick tubes to last longer, you can freeze them as well. Or you can cut their little throats and use the last drop by scooping out with a spatula or a little Q-tip or whatever. And same thing with this, you'd use eyeshadow brush um, to apply that. It would just be loose and you'd have it in a jar. So nothing's wrong with that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks again for all your time and information. And I feel like you saved the environment here and exactly. a lot of money for people out there. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to NoreenYoung.com or anywhere on social media. I know on TikTok, you're always posting stuff. Great content. Thanks again for being on the show. Pleasure. I appreciate it. Stick around more to come right after this.